Today we're going to learn how to do what we call a cut out background or for short cob. We're going to cut the background out of one image and place that image into another one. You can do lots of fun things like make yourself look like you're flying on an airplane or hanging from a small flower or suspending from a high-rise building. But today we're going to learn from a couple of test images that I have. So we're going to go to the Cobb subject image. Go ahead and file, save as your last name, Cobb practice, and subject. And you can leave it at um, whatever it's at, 12, 10, 11, something like that. Now, the first thing that you need to do is select your subject with the quick selection tool. So here it is, and all you need to do is zoom in a little bit and drag your mouse over your subject. And it should snap to the outer edges of the subject. We have our subject on a green screen, well for the most part except for her feet, which is really helpful because what the green screen allows you to do is to have a really nice vibrant solid color so that you can differentiate the colors of the person from the background. That's why this quick selection tool is doing such an easy job. Now when I get down here, where I don't have my green screen, it makes it a little bit more difficult. This tool is having some problems figuring out what I want selected and what I want to uh, leave unselected. If something comes out too far, I can always hold down Alt or Option and pull some of that out. If it's not perfect, don't worry about it. We'll have a mask later that we can edit. So we'll just do the best we can here and move on. And you'll notice that it is snapping to um, all the way down here. So we will come back and use our Alt to unselect some of that. Okay, so I'm going to take my Alt tool and deselect some of this. And it's going to want to snap here and there. Just do the best you can. Like I said, we're going to have a mask later that's going to help refine this.